We're into game one of the Western Conference Finals for the Grand Rapids Griffins and the Oklahoma City Barons. And while playoff hockey will take over Van Andel Arena tonight, Oklahoma will be on the hearts and minds of both players and fans. 24-Hour News Ace Casey Jones joins us live from Van Andel Arena with more on what the Griffins are doing to help those affected in Oklahoma. Casey? Sue, Marley, when that devastation hit Oklahoma on Monday, the minds of those in the Griffins front office were fast at work, and they really have been all week. Now, the Griffins found out they'd be playing Oklahoma City on Tuesday. Since then, hockey's kind of taken a back seat. It's been put in perspective by those affected by the disaster in Oklahoma. And we're joined now by Tim Gortzma. He's the Senior Vice President of Business Operations here for the Grand Rapids Griffins. And Tim, what a great gesture of service for the Griffins helping out with these fundraising efforts. Well, thanks, Casey. Perspective's a great word. Uh, I was speaking yesterday to Bill Scott, who's the general manager for the OKC franchise. and. We talked a little bit about the fact that uh, you know this is the hockey game. We have our homes, we have our families. A lot of people down in Moore, Oklahoma, do not. So we immediately started uh, discussions within our office. Really, what can we do to reach out to that to that family, to that area, uh, part of our American Hockey League family that's hurting so much? It's ironic that OKC, the team that we're playing. Their arena is eight miles from the devastation in Moore, Oklahoma. So we're, we've got a host of things planned to try to try to raise funds and raise awareness. So we're, we're, we're coming out to the game tonight and we have game two tomorrow here at Van Andel. What are fans expecting and how can they become a part of these fundraising? What are you guys putting on? Well, there's, there's a whole host of things. I mean, probably some of the bigger dollars are going to come through some of our corporate sponsors. There's going to be a significant check presentation uh, today by one of our bigger sponsors, Meyer. Uh, we're going to do um, a chuck -a puck with the, all the proceeds going to uh, the devastation down there. We're doing a 50-50 tomorrow. There will be collection bins throughout the arena as well as at all the concession stands. And then we're going to do a text to donate promotion. It's text Red Cross to 90999. So that's nice. Even if fans aren't coming out, they could still become a, a part of that fundraising effort. Now, how much are, is the organization hoping to raise and where's this all really going? Well, it's going to go to the Red Cross relief efforts down in, in Oklahoma. The dollar volume, I mean, we're going to leave that up to the generosity of this community, and, but this community has never ceased to amaze me in terms of their generosity, in terms of their willingness to give back. Grand Rapids is the second most philanthropic city in the nation, and it's, it's got that moniker for a reason. So I'm expecting big things. So if there's any silver lining in what's going on down in Oklahoma, it's that the Barons and at least the hockey world are coming to Grand Rapids. And Tim, we, we thank the Griffins organization for their generosity. Best of luck here in the Western Conference Finals at the Calder Club. Game one tonight between the Oklahoma City Barons and the Grand Rapids Griffins right here at Van Andel Arena. And if you come on down, you can become a part of those relief efforts for those affected in Oklahoma. Live at Van Andel Arena, Casey Jones, 24-Hour News 8.